Well, one of the nation's top gymnasts today steps into the spotlight and reveals she was the first person to report any concerns about treatment she received by Dr. Larry Nasser. Our Emmy return tonight at 5 o'clock has more on Athlete A. Well, that is how Maggie Nichols was referred to in the legal documents. But today, she steps forward and says, Athlete A is me. Her nickname is Swaggy Maggie, and in the run-up to the Rio Games, Maggie Nichols was also known as Simone Biles' bestie and roomie at camp. Me and Simone have been best friends for a while now. Um, we just get along so well, and we're always laughing and kind of joking around, so it's really nice to have her by my side, and she really helps me a lot get through all the practices and the competition. The U.S. is supposed to make a huge push for a gold medal tonight. Too young to compete in the London Games 2016 in Rio was Maggie's Olympics to make. It made me the world to me just knowing that my hard work paid off and I just want to represent the U.S. as best as I can. She certainly had momentum, earning a bronze and team gold at the World Championships and an all-around silver at the America Cup. But at the Olympic trials just a month before Rio, Nichols was recovering from a knee injury. Every time Maggie comes back from an injury, we're all just so shocked about how fast she came back and how strong. So for her to even make an Olympic trials is amazing because most people with the meniscus stuff is like still sitting in a chair trying to do things. And she's out here holding up with all the rest of us and we're just so proud of her. She didn't make the team. And now in a statement today, Nichols reveals that in her quest, she was dealing with so much more. She says Dr. Larry Nasser, the USA Gymnastics team doctor Thank hired you. to help her heal, sexually abused her. Nichols revealing that, that she is athlete A right in the legal the documents. I want everyone to know that he did not do this to athlete A. He did it to Maggie Nichols. She says she was 15 and at the Crowley Ranch when her back hurt. Her statement goes on to say, he took me into the training room, closed the door and the blinds. I trusted what he was doing at first, but then he started touching me in places I really didn't think he should. Nichols says it happened on numerous occasions. And when her coach overheard her discussing the treatment with a teammate, the coach reported the alleged abuse to USA Gymnastics staff. So in response to that report, USA Gymnastics then hired a private investigator. But it was three weeks later until Nichols was interviewed. Then her national teammates, Ali Raisman and Michaeli Marooney, confirmed abuse as well. That was then five weeks after Nichols' report. And that's when USA Gymnastics finally called the FBI and fired Dr. Nasser. At the time, Nasser put out a statement saying that he had retired. USA Gymnastics did not correct him, nor did USA Gymnastics notify the USOC or Michigan State where Dr. Nasser worked. Now, the three athletes are among the scores of women suing all three organizations. Now, as for Nasser, he is serving 60 years for child pornography, and he is admitted to sexually assaulting female gymnasts. We have posted Maggie Nichols' entire statement online.